What's up, YouTube and True Believers? Oh, I'm rocking my Stan Lee shirt. It says, um, the man, the myth, the superhero. Okay. Um, now, this video is about two things. Claw adaption to gloves. Because I have two different sets of gloves for my Wolverine cosplay. And I um, kind of went with... Um, on this one, this is kind of based off of the movie, which he didn't wear this glove. I don't know if you remember, he had the suitcase and he had the stitched, the stitched up glove. And um, the only difference was it was brown and kind of this burnt orange. It looks like a little bit of yellow. I went with black because my cosplay is black instead of brown or blue. It was blue and yellow and I didn't want to do blue and yellow. I didn't want to do brown and yellow. I wanted to do black. And so I, I changed the color to match. And then this is kind of based off of um, the recent comic version. Not the new, you know, the regular comic version, but in black also. Not the Hope 181 one, but just regular X. Anyway, based off of the comic version. So I got some 3D printed claws. And I was thinking about getting some dark matter props claws because of the way that they look. And I'm jokers are expensive, man. So... Trying to get the claws lined up with with the housing ports is a bitch. And, you know, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I'm a lot of a perfectionist. And, you know, I know not everything is going to be perfect. You know, I don't work for freaking Hollywood. So I had these three these print, three, three, three D printed and um, attached them to the gloves. So I have two different styles of gloves to wear when I do my cosplay. And I have two different styles of claws to wear with each one. But, you know, I need some help figuring out which ones look better. So, um, I'll, I'll say these are a little thinner. And I bloodied them up. And I think that they look great with, with these right here. Okay. That looks pretty kick-ass. And from this angle... It does look like it's coming out of the housing ports. Not too not too shabby, right? Even from there, it looks like it may be coming out of the housing ports. From here, a little low. You can see this, but you know, that's no big deal. I'll paint that black. You know, but you need something to, to, to hang on to. Or I can um, shave some of it off and then paint it black. But it does look like it's coming out of the housing ports. Okay, so that's a good that's a good fit, and I I actually like the thin um, um, claws. These are pretty these are pretty kick ass. Now when I try them on these gloves, um, and these gloves are a little bit thicker than this. They're made out of suede and leather. Okay, so it's a little bit of a hassle to actually get them on. I like the way that these gloves look, by the way. And they smell real good. Like fresh suede and leather. For some odd reason, it smells good as shit. Excuse my language, Bob. But they look pretty cool too. Except that because of the yellow, um, because of the, the, thick, the thickness in the yellow, thickness in the yellow, um, it doesn't look as, it looks like it's a little bit crooked. It doesn't look the... Maybe if I would have put the housing ports back some, but then it wouldn't have matched up, you know. But it's not it's not too bad. It mean you know it's not like oh man the housing ports don't look good. I'm just weird that way. Now I know if I would have got the dark matter props for these, it, you know it would look better. But it still looks good for some odd reason. You know they're pretty much lined up the same way actually this is even more curved than these don't know why that um looks that way now these other ones they're wider but it has this little arch on the top which is going to make it look like it's coming out of the knuckle okay so i went and had these 3d printed ones to see how they look opposed to the other ones on these gloves here because 
And I have a lot of, of claws. I, I guess I should go ahead and get the bone claws as well. I do like the bone claws, by the way. Some people don't, but I think they're a cool addition. I got the fire claws. You saw my video for that one if you've been following me. See, this one looks like it's coming out of there a lot better. You see? The only thing I don't like is that this thing is so damn wide. You know? So I want you to tell me. See how it is like really smooth? I want you to tell me, hey, Rick, man, I think you can pass with those or not. And, you know, even if I'm coming from you here, it looks like it's coming directly from there. So the way that these are made, because of that arch over the knuckle, it fits right in. Like, really fucking cool. So I'm, I'm digging that shit. You know, the only thing is real wide here. So it's kind of like if, if I was really Wolverine, um, it would be coming not only just from the top, but through in between my fingers, kind of like in the movies and the comics together. So if I take the same, the same claws and I use them on the other glove, it has a really cool feel to it too. But I think that the other one looks better because it's thinner. You know, the bloody ones. Which, which the thin ones here. I think these gloves are just made to, to fit damn near anything. But they ride a little lower. The other ones ride a little higher. So, which gloves do you prefer? Which claws do you prefer? Or which claw or which gloves do you prefer? Scratching my head on this one, man. You know? Or... I'm going to have to figure out a way to rig them where this is lower. You know, see if I can find a file. If not, I got to go to Dark Props Matter. And they charge $120 for their for their claws, man. And I'm going to give them $120. You know, but um, what do you like? What do you think? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Okay. Um, and I'm sorry that it's been so long. I've had a lot of crazy things going on. But... You know, tell a friend to tell a friend, hit the like, the subscribe, the notification, and um, let me know what you're thinking. I got some more stuff coming up uh, real soon, okay? Yo, peace and I'm out. One.